In this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create AI images within NA10 super quick and easily and virtually for free. Let's get into it. So this is our NA10 workflow. And as you can see, it's super simple. You can take this workflow and insert it into a larger workflow in order to actually make it run within a process. But let's see how we're actually generating the image. And then also in the snippet, we are then taking that image and uploading it to Google Drive. So we are using Hugging Face to do this. Hugging Face is a really awesome tool. It's got hundreds of thousands of different AI models, including uh, text models, video models, uh, image models, which is what we're going to be using today. The AI model, which we're going to be using today is called Flux. And we're going to be using the Schnell version, which is the smallest version and virtually free. However, you can go into Hugging Face, uh, look for image generation models, and you can see they've got a load here, which you can use, but we're going to use this one in this example. So uh, first of all, you're going to have to create an account with Hugging Face, creating a free account. Um, and then you can search for Flux just up here. If you search uh, Flux, you'll be able to see Flux.1 Schnell, which is the one we're going to want to click on. So once we are here, what we're going to want to do is go to View Code. Once you're here, you'll be able to see the inference providers and the code for the API call. I like to go with Hugging Face Inference API, so I select that one if it's available, and then JavaScript. And then here you can see the API request in JavaScript. Now, if you're not that familiar with API requests and you don't know how to take this information here in JavaScript and to create an HTTP request within NA10, then what you can do is go to ChatGPT. You can take a screenshot of the HTTP node within NA10. In fact, let me show you that first. So all we're gonna have to do is click new node and go HTTP and select this one here. Then we can take a screenshot of this we can go to ChatGPT and we can say, to run this API request in NA10, what do I need to put in the different fields in NA10? Then I can pass in this JavaScript API call, which is this. So I'm just copy and paste all of this and paste this into ChatGPT. And then it will tell me, I need to make sure the method is post. This needs to be the URL. The authentication doesn't need to be put in there because we'll handle it in the headers. And then the body needs to be like this. And that's exactly what we are doing. So. If we go back over to NA10 and we'll close this, uh, let's get rid of that. And let's open this up and you can see here, we're using a post request. The URL is that URL, which either you got from uh, ChatGPT or you can see it's this one here that we're using. Authentication, we're not gonna include here because we're going to put it into the header. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a parameter called authorization. Then we're gonna type in bearer, and then we're gonna to need to get our authorization code or our API key or API token from Hugging Face. And all we do is we go to your account and you click on access tokens. And once you're here, you will create a new token. You can call it whatever you'd like. You can add all of these permissions here. So you need to select all of these, um, everything we've got here. And that's fine. We don't need to select any of these. And we'll go create token. It's gonna to give you this token here. We'll copy this. We'll come back over to NA10, and that's where you need to just put that in here after bearer. Then we want to include content type application JSON. You can see this exactly what ChatGPT is telling us as well. Then what we need to do is pass into the body of the API call the image that we'd like to generate. So in this case, we are going to put in astronaut riding a horse, and the input is just labeled as input, again, just as ChatGPT will tell you here. Now, if you're using this as part of a larger flow, then you'll probably want this prompt to be from another step. So simply run the process, find the information from the previous step and drag it in here. If you do have any questions, and you want to know how to implement this into a larger workflow, do come on over to the community, the Applied AI Club, and I can help you out however you're trying to implement it. The link for that will be down in the description. However, that is all we need to do in order to get this working. So this HTTP request is going to go across to a hugging face. It's going to use your access token, your API key, and it's going to generate this image. And then once this image is generated, we've got it hooked up to Google Drive and it's going to drop into this folder here, the image. And again, you can connect this to whatever you want. You could send this in a message, you could telegram it to someone and you put it in an email, you could put it into a database, you could do whatever you want with it. However, this is the important bit here, the HTTP request, and hopefully you can see how we create that. So once we have set up that HTTP request, we can simply test workflow. And as we can see, it's going to take a second to give us that image. And then once it's got that image, which it has now got, it's gonna go across to Google Drive and put it into my Google Drive with that image. That's now completed. So if I go over to my Google Drive, I can see I've got a beautiful image of an astronaut riding a horse. So there we go, I hope that has helped you. As you can see, all we're doing is coming across to this model on Hugging Face after we've created an account. We are viewing the code. We are taking that code after we've selected this inference model. And we're taking this code, and if you know about APIs, you can either just insert it into NA10, or if you need a little bit of help, you can always copy and paste this 
into ChatGPT, which will tell you exactly how to fill out this. Make sure to put in your API token here, and that's gonna give you an image of whatever you want from the Flux model through Hugging Face. I hope this has been useful. If you do have any other questions, do come across to the community and I can help you out there or leave a comment down below the video. If you've liked the video, then please do give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.